What is going on, folks? It's kind of a special day for me. Somewhat of a special day. Okay, today is May 16th, 2020. Temperature is fair, 82 degrees. It is Saturday. Okay, so, what we got going on, Sadie? Let's see if I can pull this off on camera. Okay, I got a story for you after we do this. I wish I would have got it on camera. Notice what I have here. This is also somewhat funny. Good thing we got it on camera. That belt just went kaput. <clears throat> Alright. First off, with the blue moon, what is the significance of this blue moon? So, I had Stephanie come out here earlier and record me on my telephone. And then, um,. I don't remember how it came about, but she asked me uh, about starting it with the beer. She actually thought I started it with Blue Moon beer, but uh, uh, I actually put gasoline in this glass bottle, easier to pour into the carb, you know. So that was pretty funny, pretty cute. Uh, I'll probably get in trouble for putting that on here. Okay, alrighty. So, the funny thing was, I wish I, oh man, I wish I would've got this on video. So I come out here and tinkered with this. This is gonna be a two for one. We got the bug, uh, got it started for the first time, and we're having beer of the weekend. But, the first time I, so I came out here today, redid everything, got this thing back to top dead center, re-put my distributor in, put it, Kind of how I saw in some pictures. I didn't know which way to put it. Uh, so I got it in there. It started up pretty pretty easy. But it scared the baloney out of me. Okay. I got it started. And it started going. And the biggest rat I've ever seen came out of here. I guess it was somewhere. I don't know. It wasn't in the car. In the car. It was somewhere underneath the chassis, but it came up through behind the uh, tar paper in the back. Came through, come around here by where this belt was, never hit the belt. Went down, came out, almost looked like it was trying to crawl up my leg. I was hopping and hollering everywhere, and it ran off. It scared me. Oh, man. That thing was probably that long nose to tell so it wasn't huge but it was big enough to scare me uh, but anyway so what do we got real beer of the weekend we are going to try this is one of my buddy's best brands dogfish head okay so let's see here slightly mighty low cal ipa India Pell Ale brewed with monk fruit extract. 4% alcohol by volume, 95 calories. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. This low cal IPA is brewed with mighty aromatic hop varieties that deliver tropical notes with a slightly sweet balance provided by the monk fruit extract. 
So if you never heard of Dogfish Head, check them out. I don't think I've had this one. I've had Dogfish Head. I've liked a couple of Dogfish Heads. This one here is an IPA. It's been a while since we had an IPA. So, let's check them out. Mowed the grass, a lot of grass today. Came over here and tinkered with this. Uh, most of the motor tinkerings I've been doing have been kind of downers because I haven't really got anywhere. But today, even if it was just for a few seconds because I don't have fuel running from the fuel tank into this, it started. smells good it smells IPA ish but it doesn't it's not super super harsh IPA it does have a sweet note to it so it's not too bad smelling alrighty looking into the can it's kind of a golden color golden clearish color Alrighty. Hmm. What is our thoughts on this dogfish head? As far as IPA goes, I am not disappointed. Okay, it does have an IPA taste, but compared to what is the other brand, Cold Stone, something of that nature, that I've had on here several times, they have several IPAs. They are smack you, hit you in the face, hardcore. IPAs pretty much terrible if you hate IPAs okay this here is if you want to try a first time IPA I would say try this this is not too shabby here comes trouble one of troubles So yes, it is still IPA, but it's a low, low IPA. Not super bitter, not super, super hoppy. Okay? So, huh, if I was giving this a rating based, of, based off of just IPA, this would be a 10 for me. This is probably one of the better tasting IPA is. Now then, based off beers in general that I like, uh, I'm going to give it a 6 or a 7. We'll give it a 7 today just because we finally got this thing running. So today, this is a 7 in the world of beers for me. Okay? Know what all that noise was. All right. So a seven, slightly mighty locale IPA. You're wanting to try your first IPA and be not super miserable. Try this one. Seven out of ten. Getting the car started today. Ten out of ten. Okay. Thank you for watching. Somebody's going to get in trouble because they're trying to catch bugs on my car.
Get over here. Yes, just knock all that gasoline over. <laughs> 